Slowing down tonight. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, oh, yes. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Alexander Volkov. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem after Jafar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31. Volkov weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. To get us started with Ladies the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 31 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander Drago Volta. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas. And really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film 
from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice strike. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, wow! Head kick. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Volkov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands and is hurt. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his land. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under two minutes to go. An elbow, an elbow. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. So 28 total strikes have now landed for Alexander Bull. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh, perfect head kick there. This lands a good combination. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. He is all about that left kick to the body. After that round, we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. advantage, you might as well use it. Oh, hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That comes knees. through with a big hit. He hurt him. Now goes in. Down. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Going up a triangle. 
The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Oh, single collar tie here. opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. So 52 total strikes have already landed for Alexander Volk. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. 38% thus far against Alexander the Great Volk. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, oh, this is This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh! He's out! Wow! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 47 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.